Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to create reaction videos using StreamYard. And I'm actually going to give you some tidbits on creating a YouTube channel on how you can monetize videos as well. Because as you can see here, this is my channel, Mod Junkie Reacts. And these videos, they all are reaction videos and they're all monetized. And you can see the views here. It's no joke, guys. And I created all of these videos using StreamYard. You need to be very careful if you're looking to monetize a YouTube channel though. And I'll give you some tidbits as we go. All right, so first what we need to do here is we need to get into StreamYard. And some bit of advice before we get going here, I don't know which account you have, but I highly suggest that you get the advanced plan here because we need 4K recording. And I know that this sucks that you're gonna have to spend the money on this, but guys, if you're serious here, this channel, if you grow a YouTube channel, it will pay you back month over month. And what's crazy about YouTube is I don't touch this channel anymore and I earn probably like $400 a month just on repeat. And again, consider signing up with StreamYard using my affiliate link in the description because after all, one creator from one creator to another, I am helping you here. You can do 1080 recordings, but if you want my honest advice here, that 4K is gonna be so so much better. All right, so step number one to recording a reaction video in StreamYard is to go into the user face interface here and then click on this recording feature. I highly advise you don't actually live stream it. It's a lot harder and you can only do live streaming in 1080. So click on record and then title your video. What I suggest you do is always have the word reaction in your title if you want YouTube to actually be able to monetize it. So I'm gonna do reaction to car channel. And again, you can create different titles later. This is actually just the recording, so you can mess with titles later. So this is gonna enter the studio here. So then click your display name here. Make sure that you have all your cameras set up correctly. I have multiple webcams here because it's I'm recording here and then also here. So enter the studio. Okay, so next what you wanna do here is add you onto the camera section here. All right, so next what we need to do here is we need to go to the actual video that you're going to be reacting to. So this is a super old video from my channel here. It's 15 years old. Let's click on this video. And what we want to do here is we want to make sure we go to full screen on the video. So click the full screen feature here, or at least have it ready. Because when you go into the video recording, that's what you're going to have to do. We're going to have to play this ad for a second here. Mute the audio. All right, so skip the ad. Okay, so now the video is ready to be played. And again, this don't judge me on this video. This thing's 15 years old here. So now what we need to do here is go back to StreamYard, click on the present button down here, and then click on share screen. And then we need to find out which tab is that video, then click share. So now we have this screen open. See if we go to StreamYard, this is what it's gonna look like as we record. And again, I'm on a free version of StreamYard right now. So when you pay for this, this is actually going to be removed. And then what you can do here is mess with these views. You can kind of like choose different views that you want. You can choose this. Try to get a good aspect of what all of these buttons do. This is probably going to be the best one, this feature right here, because it shows you in the bottom corner. And you have to be extremely careful with recording reaction videos because if you're looking at monetizing these videos for all video recordings on reaction videos you need to have that section of video in the corner during all of your video these rules drastically change as you get larger as a creator but if you're not monetized you have to be extremely careful I have multiple reaction channels and you need to make sure that while recording someone else's video you have that section of your video in the corner because you're adding something different to the original video. All right, so then what we do to record this is all we would do is click on the record button up here. So you'd click record, and then as you click record, you'd go back to this screen, and then you would just do full screen. And then what you would do is you would just click play, and then you would react to it as you click play. So let's just pretend like my face is down here. This is an entirely different recording software than StreamYard, but just for this tutorial, so then you sit here, you'd click play, and you'd just do your tutorial or your reaction video in, in a sense. And what you wanna do is make sure you click on the quality of the video. See, this is at 480. Make sure you get the quality at the highest rate possible. Hopefully you can record in 4K and your video that you're reacting to is in 4K because it's gonna be such higher quality. That's a huge deal. And again, what you can also do is you can download this video and record it as a downloaded version, but chances are you don't wanna do that. So then just keep clicking play here, and then you talk as the video plays. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a really good internet connection as well. And again, this video is not a good example. Um, I shouldn't even be using this. Let's just do this one. Let's just take a look at some of my reaction videos, just for fun. So this video has 87,000 views one year ago. And if I skip this ad here, you can see here, this channel is a little more seasoned, so I'm not, um, you don't see my face in the screen, 
But my advice to you is if your channel's new, you don't attempt this and you keep your screen in like this small section of the corner. Here's me reacting to it. Another little piece of advice is if you cannot have any of the audio play from the original video, you're gonna have way less monetization issues. Because if that original audio plays, um, it's just, you're gonna, you're gonna run into some monetization issues, especially music. If you cannot have music in there, it, it'll be so much easier. Okay guys, I'm done rambling. I'm just honestly trying to give you the best advice here. So then when you're done recording, you just click stop up here. And then that's what the video looks like. And it's literally that easy. Again, you what you can do is just, you can switch back and forth, get like good with these buttons, and then you can kind of like move around the views as you record the video. What you can also do is present a downloaded video. Like if I click here, present, and I do a video file, I can then just play like an actual video that comes up. So recording this in StreamYard actually isn't the hard part. It's actually all the rules YouTube has with monetization. And again, guys, if you're considering signing up with StreamYard, please use my affiliate link in the description. I tried my best to help you from one creator to another, just helping you out here. I highly advise you get that 4K recording. Another option you could do is to use Restream. That's another tool that a lot of people underlook. It's a little cheaper as well. But if you want my honest opinion, I would use Stream. Yard. The user interface is there and if like you're not great at editing and all that stuff, StreamYard's gonna it's gonna win with this one. Hit me up in the comments. What's your idea for reaction channel? Are you trying to make money on YouTube? Are you just reacting to stuff on TikTok, etc.? What's your goal? I want to hear from you. All the links will be in the description, guys. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.